What's up, YouTube? Let's play number three. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I don't know if you can hear what's going on. If you hear some clanking, some uh, interesting sounds. Let's see if we can get the game volume up a little bit. Am I doing this right? I've never actually, there we go. Can you hear that better? You hear that clanging sound? That is the boss. Says bosses we're about to fight. I don't even know. I don't even know how we're gonna. Okay, so this is gonna be kind of like a. This is the boss for Fair and Keep, which I have to say has actually been. Uh, I posted one video up of this. This has actually been my favorite area so far. It's been a lot of fun. Um, that whole swamp thing that you saw. It was just a good time, surprisingly. And now we're gonna take on the boss. Uh, the boss is going to be quite a bit like uh, Bloodborne bosses. I'm quite good at Bloodborne right now. I've just finished, uh, just starting my plus two, new game plus two run on Bloodborne. I'm level 169, so Bloodborne's pretty good. Saying that, I don't know. I'm taking on a boss for the first time. Sometimes that goes really well. Sometimes it goes really badly, and today I'm doing it on camera. So um, let's just go ahead and... Uh, uh, what are we going to do here? Let's take a knee. I'm not religious at all. I don't know what he's doing, actually. He's, uh, looks like he's grooving a little bit. It's like he's listening to, um, Tribe Called Quest, maybe? Their new album? Yeah. Yeah, he's feeling it. He's feeling it. All right. So what we're going to do is I am embered up which means that I can call in a summon. So I'm going to want help for this boss because I've never done this before. So we're calling in a computer NPC, non-playable character. We're going to call this guy in to give me a hand with this boss. Test the summon sign, Black Hand Gothard. Let's bring Go Black Hand Gothard up because um, I'm feeling a little nervous about this boss. But this is kind of exciting too, right behind those doors there. And here he comes. Phantom Black Hand Gothard has been summoned. What up? Oh, look at that. He's giving me a gesture. By my sword. No, wait, dude. I want to bow to you. Look at me. Look at me. Look, dude. I bowed. I'm bowing for you. Why won't you face me? Why won't you fucking... Why isn't he looking at me? Dude. 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 I am... Can we... Oh, the love of... Let's just go take on the boss, for crying out loud. I want to just make a new friend. This is terrible. All right. Enough dicking around. Now he's looking at me, because you're ready to go, right? Oh, fuck's sakes. Fine, fuck you. Then he can't even look at me. Doors open. Here comes boss. Okay. Once again, pushing doors that are much too big for me. Oh, here's a boss. You ready, Black Hand Gothard? Don't act like you're not ready. You're ready. Shit. I don't even know what I'm going to say during this. If I'm going to swear a lot, maybe I'll just play music over it. I don't know. We'll see how long this takes. All right. Wow. Those guys must be bored. Imagine being so bored and probably kind of somewhat omnipotent and immortal that you would just spend your days killing each other. Shit. Yeah, this is looking like a fairly bloodborne type enemy. I should have a beer for this. Oh man. What's up, buddy? Got two of those, huh? Yeah. Okay. Let's do it, Black Hand Gothard. Let's go. Can I go? Just throw okay. it. Whoa. Okay. Not hitting too hard. Hey. Yeah, me and Black Hand Goth are best friends. Kick in. Oh, there's another guy. I'm going to need help now. There's three guys. Ow. 
this isn't fucking yeah well that couldn't be it that can't be it this is a boss bosses can't die this easy shit yeah crap I really should have cracked the beer for this well, I don't know. That went extraordinarily well. I think. There's three guys at one point, but I'm not entirely sure the one with the red eyes was necessarily against us. I think he might have been whooping on everybody, but I'm just talking just to talk right now. I'm nervous. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I must remember to use my shield. <laughs> Music's nice. Uh, okay. Yeah, there he is. Wow. Ow. Okay. Back up. Backs. Flask it up. Oh, that's nifty. Yep. Don't pick on Blackhand Gothard. He's my best friend now. Fucking man, we are tough. Ooh. It's all for fuck's sake. Is that it? The Lord of Cinder Fallen. Cinders of a Lord blocks. Oh, but don't go. Soul of the Blood of the Wolf. Shit. Well, that's the boss. That didn't take very long. Seven or eight minutes, I guess. Um, that's kind of embarrassing. So this is what happens when you do the fifth, only the, the boss only for the fifth area and you're already level 90. Is that happens. You beat him a little quickly. I'm not even entirely sure what happened there, actually. Um, I only used two flasks that whole fight. I feel like I got to use another one just so I can feel like I did something. Shit. That was kind of awesome. That was pretty fucking ninja. Okay. So after you defeat a boss, I might as well just keep going because that was way too short. Um, there's always a bonfire after a boss which you light which then links you back to other bonfires that you can travel to as well as Firelink Shrine. Generally, after you beat a boss, you want to go to Firelink Shrine um, to level up, cast in your souls, have a little bit of a breather. There's other NPCs there for you to talk to. They're generally not much in the way of items. Oh, I did know about this part, actually. I did read that I'm supposed to be going up to this. And this is the entrance area. This is why this boss is not an optional boss, because it's mandatory for you to defeat in order to move on to a next area. Optional bosses, that's not required. Optional bosses you generally get a nice item, a lot of souls, but they're not required because they're not required to advance in the game. This boss was. So this is the next area, Catacombs of Carthus. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to touch this yet, but maybe we want to take a little peek. Ooh, this is looking kind of gothic and kind of cool. Let's take a... Oh, I think I see a guy down there. Do you guys see a guy on the stairs down there? And there's items. Oh, there's a crystal lizard. Crystal lizards give you upgrade items for your stones. That's a dude, I think. I think that's a dude. I think I have binoculars. Let's find out. Let's see. Oh, no. Equipment? I don't even know where my binoculars are. I never use them. Nope, not in here. Uh, I don't fucking know. Binoculars. I'm sure I picked up the binoculars in this game. I'm probably focusing too much on this, but I think we'd all like to see if there's a guy over there. Uh, 
man, this is like the worst let's play ever. I can't even find my binoculars. Binoculars. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I swear to God, I have binoculars. I do, I do. Anyway, it doesn't matter. That's totally dude. In fact, I think he's even moved a little bit. Oh, that's a dude for sure. Anyway, um, let's go back and leave this really cool looking area behind. I'll try to post a video of this place too. Uh, let's see. Back to Fair and Keep. Uh, yeah, let's go back to Firelink Shrine. Fuck it. Travel. Firelink Shrine. Show you guys the home base a little bit. I have heard tell of the bastard sword. Um, it's supposed to be pretty ninja. I've got a lot of really nice swords myself. I'm just saying. Uh, okay, so this is Firelink Shrine. Here we see a whole lot of enemies. No, I'm sorry, not enemies, NPCs. Uh, and this lady here is where you level up. So you see I'm at level 90. This is how you get to become level 90. You level up. And if you have enough souls, you attune your next level to whichever slot that you want. Um, so yeah, you can see here, uh, focusing on Vigor, which is your health, Attunement, which is spells, so spell slots. Uh, endurance, very important, that's how many times you can swing your sword, how long you can run for. Vitality is how much you can carry, as well as physical defense. Um, strength, pretty uh, um, obvious, it's how hard you hit. Uh, dexterity, how well you handle your weapons. Intelligence is uh, more to do with uh, magic and spells. Um, faith would be to use miracles, my lowest stat, because I don't give a fuck. And luck, luck is your luck in the game. It's the items, it's, it's enemies dropping um, items for you when you kill them. Um, the higher your luck, the better, the, the more likely of drops and the better the drops. Um, I killed a dark farewell lady. The plague, flames guide thee as well. Let's let her finish bowing and then we bow. Aw, oh, that's nice. Um, I picked up a really awesome, what I suspect is an awesome fucking sword off of these, one of these dark knights, a like dark sword. Uh, I've seen better. Let's take a look at it. Pretty short. There's no range on that weapon. Yeah, swing, swing, swing. Pretty fast, which is nice. You want fast on a weapon. Um, you, oh, goodness, that's pretty ninja, let's see what it does two-handed, slash, slash, nice, good, all right, only five, let's see what R2 does, Ooh. and now let's see what the buff is, the special attribute to this weapon, oh, shit, right. ooh, that will move there, so you can do this as a combo, you go boom, and then schmuck, bad. Anyway, this weapon is a little weak for some of the other weapons that I'm favoring right now. Where's my claymore? It's a claymore plus four. Okay, so we took out the boss, the Abyss Watchers, which are the boss. Who are the boss at Farron's Keep? Fairly successful, I think. Um, yeah, that was fun. So we did, uh, we did a boss video. Not bad. All right. Um, that's it. Everybody have a good night. I know I will because I'm going to crack a beer in the next few seconds. And I'll catch you all next time. She bowed. That was cool. <laughs>